going to take it way back to the basics, and I'm also going to talk about the rider. Um, it's your job to understand where the horse's feet are. So we're, we're talking about shoulders to the inside, shoulders to the outside, but do you really understand where the feet are to get the feel that we're asking? Um, I tell people all the time, what we're sitting on uh, from the withers back is probably 85 to 90% of the horse, and from the withers forward is 10 to 15%. So oftentimes I see people controlling the head only, and they're losing the body. So I personally want to control the part that touches the ground. Um, the head is the tool that I'm using to control the part that touches the ground. So yes, it looks like I'm steering with his head, but that's where it starts and it finishes at his tail. And I call it a connected horse or keeping the horse between your legs. So a lot of times I'll get somebody that comes to my house and uh, they say their horse isn't raiding the barrel. Their horse is raiding the barrel very well, but they're pulling the horse's nose and the horse continues to drift away from the barrel. So I want to connect his body and square everything up where everything comes together. Um, so what I said, back to the very, 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 very basics, we're talking anybody, little kids can learn this. As a jockey, I feel like it's your job to know where their feet are. So find you a pasture, find you some trail ride to go on, and I want you to be able to go out there and walk circles and hopefully someday be able to do this with your eyes closed. But I want you to be able to tell me right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. And until you know where those feet are, some of these other drills are way too advanced for you. So I was raised doing some English and I had to learn where the feet were. And so when we're going to the barrel and we're explaining, you know, foot placement, we have to know right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. So until you can do that at a walk, trot, and it helps you learn your leads also. So now when we go to a barrel and we want to keep the horse connected, um, I think it's really important that the horse's hind end tracks in the same steps as their front end. So going back to my horse doesn't rate and we're losing control, if I'm pulling his nose and his butt is pinwheeling, we're, we're getting away from the barrel. So if you can bring his hind feet in the same tracks that his front feet are, you're going to have a lot more efficient turn. Again, I know, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. I feel that as his jockey. So I think anybody can learn that. And I don't think we need to be going high rates of speed until you can tell where every foot is. And I think that will help your barrel racing tremendously. The Barrel Racing Discussion Forum cannot thank our brand new gold sponsors enough. We have OE Nutraceuticals, Hayride Cubes, Mad Glam, Ashley Keys Realtor, and of course, Tin Top Insurance Agency. Thank you guys for participating in this and going on this venture with us. We can't thank you enough.